What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new video. Today we have the updated top 5 guns in Battlefield 2042 with Season 6 update. We had a couple of new weapons, a new assault rifle, semi-automatic pistol and overall but the current top 5 is now with the recoil fixes. They, they tweaked a little, a couple of weapons, not everyone, but uh, so I think this top 5 will be somewhat accurate. Of course it's a little bit of a personal taste. But I think this will get you on the right track if you're looking for the right weapons. Also showing attachments, of course, so you right away know what to use on your weapon. We're starting off with the PP29, which is on the SMG class. The second SMG you unlock, and this gun has pretty much always been in the top 5 guns in Battlefield 2042. Uh, putting it at number 5 right now, it's still the best SMG in the game. No recoil, it has 64 rounds in one mag. Uh, hipfire is decent ish it's not the best hip fire gun but overall it's a very all-rounded weapon which you can pretty much use on any map so for the attachments i actually only use the fusion hollow and the standard issue rounds don't use the under barrel or a uh, factory barrel um i sometimes use the wrap suppressor if you're struggling with the recoil you can mess around with the barrels uh the tactical compensator can be kind of good but honestly i really like it with the way it is right now like simple fusion hollow and standard issue rounds my most used gun in the game and this is what i would recommend using always put up some backup ammo in case you run out of ammo for the next weapon, this was kind of a hard decision because this weapon is extremely good, uh, pretty much overpowered I would say. However, you cannot use it on all maps and it is the 12M Auto. It's on the shotgun class or the tactical class they call it. Uh, the 12M Auto, it's, it's absolutely insane. It's a full auto um, weapon shotgun that gets really good once you start unlocking the drum mag for it. It, especially on a new map, it, it's kind of overpowered and on the edge of really being uh, extremely annoying, to be honest. For the attachments, what I use is, I the sight really doesn't matter. I always just kind of mess around with it because I only hip fire with this gun. Uh, but just to make it look different, I sometimes just toss on a different sight. Uh, drum mag is a must. Then I have the extended barrels backup and then I have the slug shells as backup in case I run out of ammo. You're going to run out of ammo very quickly with this gun, so definitely be sure to have... Uh, backup ammunition. I use the MGL laser sight and the shortened barrel which reduces the projectile velocity but I think with a fast rate of fire shotgun and you're only going to be up close it doesn't really matter too much so I would recommend these attachments. For the next one this was also a hard one because I was kind of debating between two weapons the AM40 and the M5. I decided to go with the M5 because I feel like it's the more consistent weapon out of the two and it always has been. Also a gun that's always around the top five guns. The first assault rifle you unlock so it's for very much worth unlocking attachments for this gun right away. Always consistent. Uh, for the attachments I used the fusion hollow, close combat, short barrel and the SDNR laser. This build makes it extremely fast and pretty much outguns most SMGs in this game and also assault rifles. I have the extended mag as backup ammo in case you run out of bullets. I have a suppressor as well. I kind of like to use the 2.5 thermal as well actually on it for longer ranges but only if you can control the recoil well. If you're struggling with the recoil on this gun I recommend using the Cobra grip or the LWG grip. So for the next gun on number 2 we have the BSV which came in season 1. This gun is absolutely insane, it still is. It barely has any spread and it's on the marksman class but you can, gotta keep in mind you can actually put this gun on full auto. So keep that in mind when you're using this gun. It's definitely necessary to put it on full auto to make it as best as it possibly can be. But you can kind of build this gun in whatever way you want it. You can almost build it into an SMG to uh, a long range marksman rifle. Uh, the way I have built it is the K8 Hollow, uh, the high power extender. I think this is by far the way to go with this gun. I have the BCG light grip which reduces the spread on the gun. So once you're actually aiming at someone, it uh, will make sure the bullets are actually going the way you're aiming. And then the short barrel. I also have some backup, uh, the extended barrel and the, um, the high power rounds in case I want to go for long range targets. And then I toss on a... Uh, a, a, a scope right there so it actually can take out players for longer range so for the number one spot maybe it's a little bit too, too early to say but i'm honestly pretty convinced this will be the best gun in the game i've played with it quite a bit already now 
and it is the new VHX D3. Literally came with it in season six. They usually do this with games when there's new seasons coming out. They make the new guns very, very good. And they've done that again. I think the VHX is pretty confidently now the best gun in the game. High rate of fire, assault rifle, barely any recoil. It beams, it kills players extremely fast, especially because the assault rifles have that headshot multiplier. So I put the VHX D3 on the number one spot so for the attachments in case you're curious the fusion hollow extended the bcg light grip and the tactical compensator both these attachments pretty much make sure that the weapon is going to be extremely accurate in a way where it just doesn't have any spread it does increase some recoil the tactical compensator so if you struggle with the recoil don't use this but if you want to make the gun as accurate as it possibly can be so where you're aiming your bullets will actually go then use these two uh, attachments uh, extended barrel um, or extended mag and then of course I toss on some backup ammunition uh, and I have a two time scope which actually works very well as well so that is the top five let me know what your favorite gun and what you think is the best gun and if you agree with my top five that's very I'm very curious for that as well uh, but hopefully this video was useful subscribe if you haven't and I hope to see you guys in the next video